Hi, it's Glenda with Road to Self-Reliance, and today I want to share what I've gotten in the mail recently, several seed orders I've placed. Now, for many of you, you're going to think this is an odd time of year to be getting seeds in, but I'm in Zone 9B on the Atlantic coast of Florida, so a lot of these are things I can be planting right now or we'll be planting them soon after the first of the year. Our last average frost date is like February 21st, and it can fluctuate a little bit, of course, but I'm going to try really hard this year to get stuff in the ground, or at least sprouting earlier in February so that by first part of March, middle of March, it's ready to go in the ground. So let's take a look at what I got. All right, I ordered from four different seed companies this time, and I have used them all before and have been really happy with what I've had. So I'll put links down below to each of them, and um, some of those are affiliate links because, like I said, I have actually used their seeds and, and liked them and felt like they were uh, good. So first of all is from Botanical Interests. I've got some more chives. I had bought these chives before from them at a local garden shop. So I just went ahead and ordered directly from the company. And then I got some calendula and some echinacea. And then as a thank you, they sent me some sunflower seeds. Now these are tall sunflowers, so as um, long as we don't have like windy hurricane weather. These should be great. So I'm really looking forward to getting these planted maybe around our new garage that's going up. So that'll be nice. And then from Seed Savers, I ordered some bushy cucumbers. The cucumbers that I had, which actually were botanical interest, did decently this year. So I'm excited to try a different variety of them. And then some basil. I do have some purple opal basil that I got from Baker Creek a few years ago, and I have been really happy with that. I just wanted to try some regular basil. And then a second cucumber. This one's Parade. So looking forward to giving those a try and see how they work out. And then from Baker Creek. <laughs> Do we see a theme here? I've got yet more cucumbers to try out. So I'm going to try a variety and see which do well in my containers, in my climate, and go from there. Got lemon balm, which I've had before that did pretty well. And I found a recipe for lemon balm jelly, so I'm hoping this does well and I can make some of that. Um, the habanada peppers. These are supposed to have the flavor of habanero without the heat. And so far before, all I've ever grown have been bell peppers, so I'd like to give a different type of pepper a try and see how it does because the bell pepper did really well. Speaking of bell peppers, I also got California Wonder and Ozark Giant. So a couple of varieties that someone had recommended, so I'll give those a try and see how they go. And then rosemary, see if I can get some of that to grow. I had tried some before and it never really came up, but I'm really going to give it a try and see how that does. And then they also sent a free pack of seeds. And this is some type of a stalky green. I've never heard of the Mizuna before. Um, I love the companies that send a free seed packet. It's a great way to get to try things you might not otherwise, but a lot of times they're not the best for the climate. But they're free, so it's a great way to experiment and see if you can find maybe a microclimate where these would work. Um, what has worked for me from Baker Creek, like I said, the, the, pur the yeah, purple opal basil has worked really well. I've really enjoyed having that. Uh, they sent another green that that did grow pretty well. So we'll give this a try and, and see how it goes. And finally, I have ordered from Working Foods in Gainesville. So these are more or less local. Now Gainesville is more inland, not as close to the coast as I am, but still same zone and everything. So um, I want to give these a try. And this is what 
the front of the package look like. Their, their packing is, is lovely. With the artwork on it. So this is Spotted Bee Balm or Horse Mint. Want to try that. And then we have some dill. And we have another type of radish, Nelson radish. So I've got some radishes planted right now. I've got two or three different types. This, it says, is similar to French breakfast. So um, I'm going to be getting these in the in the dirt pretty soon and, and see what, what happens with those. So those are the new seeds I've added to my collection. I'm looking forward to getting them in the ground. Some of them I'll be planting in the next few days and weeks. Some won't be planted for a few months, but um, one thing I'm learning about living and gardening here is that the season is very different from what I grew up with in South Arkansas and from what most of the country deals with. So making some changes and trying some different varieties and seeing what works. Now that I've got these in, what I also need to do is I keep a um, spreadsheet where I list the seeds I have, um, what the year they're packed in, just different things like that. And then as I use them, I make some notes about what worked and what didn't work. And it helps me kind of plan going forward. Do I want to try that variety again? Maybe I want to try it, but from a different company and see if their seeds are better adapted, like um, using the one from Working Farms in Gainesville since they're more in my area doing things like that. So I'll get that updated and then I'll get started growing. Till next time.